I'm syncing up both of these, so you guys on the HDF are going to be uh, just a little bit ahead as I uh, set everything up here for the show. I want to invite everyone and thank you because you guys watching up there are, for the most part, subscribers. You're the people that hit share, and I thank you very much. I'll be talking into this camera as well. This is live, and it's on the Media Speaks. I do want to remind everyone before we get started, and we have a full show. Don't click away. It starts in two minutes. Um, just make sure that everyone here knows that this is listener supported now. YouTube has not been allowing us to monetize our videos. They have actually been demonetizing, and I'm talking about I can I can be addressing matters that are not in the least bit in any way, shape, matter, or form controversial. But because some of the topics I discuss are not in alignment with that of raging socialism, we are no longer allowed to monitor anything. We have been getting absolutely hosed. So we're asking everyone to support us if you support what we're doing. And you can do so by, as I break my studio, <clears throat> by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com. And you can do that through PayPal. Every penny that you give to me, my friends, that goes towards a better show. And believe me, that's what we want to bring you here. And after what YouTube has done to us, they've made it almost impossible for that to happen. So please, I am asking you politely as I set my show up here, please donate at the correct views of Hotmail.com. You can do so through PayPal. It's 11.29. I said I was going to start at 11.30. You know what? That's close enough. Let's do it. There it is live. There we go. Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Sam I beat again. She's doing political commentary for the media speaks. As I just reminded all the subscribers who are over there, hello, deaf, hello, welcome aboard from the Media Speaks that you can support at the correct views at hotmail.com by donating through PayPal. Guys, we've got a lot to get to today. Um, first of all, I want to talk about Irma. Everyone's talking about Irma, as well as how it ties into Hurricane Harvey, which a lot of people haven't really addressed, and I think they should. Some of this is outright leftist lunacy, but then again, when you're talking about leftists, for the most part, you are talking about lunacy. So, um, we're going <laughs> to, we'll go with what we got, friends. Um, there's where her, that's the uh, latest on Hurricane Harvey that you are seeing there before we get into it. Now, this here is not good. Listen to this. And I'm a Christian. I, I admit that openly, and that'll be important later when we start talking about Neville Goddard. But I need you to pay some attention to this here. God is not mocked. Jim Baker says Hurricane Harvey is God's judgment on America. Right, right, watch. Now, see, this is the kind of thing that is a huge problem because it paints Christians in a very, very bad light. Um, the, the only way I can describe it is I have some black friends who are humiliated by the mockery of racial conversation that is Black Lives Matter. They are humiliated by them. I, I get it. And as a Christian, this is terrible. And I'll tell you what, God has punished the world for sin before. The world, not just America. The other thing is, if you read the book of Revelations, and if you are a Christian, and trust me, if you're not a Christian, we're not going to be on this topic all day, so don't go away. Um, if you are a Christian, then you know that in the book of Revelations, we are told that there are hurricanes and earthquakes and rumors of wars in diverse places which is what we're seeing. At no point, other than the sin of all of us, is it alluded to in the Bible that I know of that specific areas in modern times after Christ are going to receive these based on sin. Now, I'm not saying that we're not being punished for sin. I think the world is. That's the whole point of the, the Bible. But to say that God has brought this. Hello, more viewers coming in. Welcome aboard. To say that God has brought this upon us is a black eye to Christians 
And uh, it's humiliating. Listen to this. Right-wing pastor Rick Joyner joined television evangelist and end times prepper pastor Jim Baker and his television program yesterday, where they declared that Hurricane Harvey was God's judgment on the city of Houston and used the devastation wrought by the storm to promote Baker's line of survival products. Now, friends, that is a huge travesty. For those as you tune in, as I'm talking, I'm going to the uh, storm so you guys can watch it. That is a travesty. To say that this is happening here to the people of, well, I, th th he was talking about Texas, but that was before this developed. To say that this is brought on because of some sin that we have done, when all of us are sin and the whole world is punished, is absolute insanity. Okay? I'd like to address that first of all. Joyner asserted that the storm had nothing to do with climate change, which it does not. The real issue with the weather and everything else on earth has to do with sin and wickedness. Not true. The whole earth will cry out because of the shedding of innocent blood. That's what throws nature off more than dumping CO2. That is true. But that would be the sin of all of us. Um, does America shed innocent blood? Certainly America sheds innocent blood. But if you were going to have a hurricane of that magnitude or something equal to it, then it would hit the Middle East, where ISIS embodies shedding innocent blood. Okay, they're far worse than America is, regardless of what it is that you think of America. So, already right there, if it was going based on how cruel a country is, you mean to tell me that America would get it before North Korea? Have you seen how North Korea treats their own people? You mean to tell me that that's going, God's going to hit them before he hits, uh, hits America before he hits them? Iran? Do you see how they treat, again, their own people? Jim Baker's going to sit here and insinuate that this is brought down on Americans when there is so much more evil in the rest of the world just because there are things in America that are... Uh, against the Bible, and we all know that there is. This is a travesty. Joyner said the Key West Florida had been hit by a hurricane. One day, they're supposed to have the Day of Decadence Parade, and another, the Hurricane New Orleans, right before. Well, you know what? While a lot of people were having the Decadence Parade, a lot of people were going to church, too. That's like saying that every good thing that happens happens because people were going to church that day. This is not the way you read the end of times prophecy. This, my friends, is how you distort the Bible and cause people to run from Christianity. Um, Baker agreed, saying that the former mayor of Houston ordered all the preachers to turn in their sermons before they preach them. Just remember, God gets the last word. God gets the last word, he will not be received nor mocked. Well, well, that might be true, Mr. Baker. Let me offer this up real quick. How many pastors that were godly, and maybe ones that did not turn over their sermons, are still living there and may have been washed away and killed? You mean to accuse God, with no proof, of killing them because their rulers wanted to see their sermons before they preached it. The utter insanity. You're a moron. And so is this guy. We've got idiots on the left. Believe me, trust me. We've, we've got the idiots on the left. You, you're going to say, oh, Sam's gone. His, Sam's, no, Sam's not attacking Christians at all. I'm not attacking conservatives. I'm some attacking idiots. CNSnews.com. Professors suggested that Texans deserve Harvey for supporting Trump. I wonder what sins they have that they deserve punishment for. If I was them, I'd be very concerned about making such uh, predictions. The professor at the University of Tampa is apologizing for suggesting that Texas residents deserve Har Hurricane Harvey for supporting Donald Trump, Fox News reported. I don't believe in instant karma, but this kind of feels like it's for Texas. Ken Story tweeted on Sunday, according to the campus reform. Hopefully, this will help them realize that the GOP doesn't care about them. What? Okay, we're talking about a storm that has moved in and is decimating lives. And this is the tripe that's given to us? Story apologized later, said, I deeply regret the statement I posted yesterday. I never meant to wish ill upon any group. I hope all affected by Harvey recover quickly. Yeah, even those that voted for Trump, you swine. The University of Tampa's director of public information, Eric Caldinas, issued a statement to Fox News. 
saying that the university stands in solidarity with the people impacted by Hurricane Harvey and that our thoughts and prayers are with all involved. Even Trump supporters, I guess. How very kind of you! The comments made by Kenneth Story were made via the private social media account. They were not made within the capacity of a faculty member, and they don't represent the university's views. So we know at least there's one scum teacher there. The University of Tampa condemns these comments and blah blah. So that, that's, that, that's what we're looking at from the lunacy side all around us. That's what we're seeing here. That's what we're suffering, uh, trying to trudge our way through here.